the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dear children welcome back we meet again after a small break right i hope you had a wonderful onam with your family members and now it's time to come back to studies in the previous classes we read a beautiful story that describes the relationship between a grandfather and a grandchild right let me ask you something don't you love your grandparents of course you do we know that the bond between grandparents and grandchildren are always special filled with love and affection isn't it our grandparents are the ones who protect us from our parents scolding they are the ones who eagerly wait for us during vacations to spend their time with us and the ones who used to tell us stories right we also love our grandparents in the same way and how do we express our love for them we used to read the newspaper for them we go for a walk with them clinging on to their fingers and so on these are the small small things that makes the bond strong and beautiful along with all these there are some similarities as well today we are going to learn a small but beautiful poem titled the little boy and the old man written by sheldon allen Sheldon Allen was born on 1930 and died in the year 1999. He was an American poet, singer, cartoonist, screenwriter and author of children's books. He is famous for his poems and theater practices. His A Boy Named Sue won the 1970 Grammy Award. The Little Boy and the Old Man is taken from the book Words Alive. which includes a number of poems Sheldon Allen is a poet known for his wonderful and funny poems for children In this poem the poet illustrates the indignities of growing old The old man returned to the little boy and his own children now treat him as a little boy Now let's read out the beautiful poem The little boy and the old man said the little boy sometimes i drop my spoon said the little old man i do that too the little boy whispered i wet my pants i do that too laughed the little old man said the little boy i often cry the old man nodded so do i but worst of all said the boy it seems grown ups don't pay attention to me and he felt the warmth of a wrinkled old hand i know what you mean said the little old man said the little boy sometimes i drop my spoon said the little old man i do that too here the little boy says that he drops the spoon sometimes drop meaning let or make something fall So the little boy is telling that there are times when he drops the spoon from his hands and the old man also says that it happens to him too. This shows that they are not strong enough to hold the spoon. They are weak. The little boy being a child and the man because he is old. And that's why they drop the spoon not able to hold it tight. Okay. The little boy whispered, "I wet my pants." "I do that too," laughed the little old man. 
whisper means speak very softly so the little boy says that he used to wet his pants that is he used to pee on his pants and the old man laughs and agrees with the boy that it happens to him too you can see that here the old man is described as a little old man isn't it why is it so let me tell you small kids need support of their parents or elders to do things as they are weak in the same way when people get old they need support from others as they are also weak just like the little kids both physically and emotionally is it clear okay said the little boy i often cry the old man nodded so do i often means frequently or many times palapurum so the little boy says that he used to cry frequently and the old man nodded so the old man shook his head agreeing with the boy that it happens to him as well but worst of all said the boy it seems grown ups don't pay attention to me the little boy says that the worst of all worst means least good or poor quality etavu moshamaya allengil paridavagaramaya so the little boy says that the worst among all these is that the grown ups the elders doesn't pay attention to him they don't listen to him when the little boy said this what did the old man do and he felt the warmth of a wrinkled old hand the little boy felt the warmth of a wrinkled old hand what does it mean by warmth the quality or state of being warm ushmala maya and wrinkle means a slight line or fold on the skin chuliv so the little boy felt the warmth of a wrinkled hand that is the old man took hold of the little boy's hand and said i know what you mean said the little old man the old man said that he can understand what the boy is on about because he also experiences the same nobody pays attention to him also when people become old nobody listens to them won't care about their opinions or suggestions and the worst is sometimes they are even forgotten and that's why the old man says that he can understand the feelings of the boy as he is also going through the same emotions he is also left alone by the people who were supposed to look after him and take care of him here the poem ends we know that nowadays people are so busy with their work that they don't have enough time for their old parents the old people are always being neglected maybe because they are sitting idle at home doing nothing or because they are not contributing anything for the society or their family they are left alone when their children goes for work just like the little kids are left alone when their parents head to work both are equal the little kids and the old people both of them need support affection love and care and it is our responsibility to provide them with whatever they need as i mentioned earlier the bond between grandparents and grandchildren always warm the heart and make one feel so happy in this particular poem reflects the bond between grandparents and grandchildren though a small poem it conveys a great message is it clear children all right now it's time for your homework there are two activities that you have to do as your homework the first activity is the little boy felt the warmth of a wrinkled old hand here wrinkled old hand describes old age add a few more words describing old age for example gray hair and the second activity is pick out lines from the poem and rewrite them in the form of a conversation and 
I feel that you loved the poem. Go through the poem once again and do your activities on time. I'll meet you in the next class. Till then, take care. Thank you.